Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on powers and roots. There's a lot of content in this topic so we're going to break it down into several videos and in this first video we're going to run through some of the basic rules starting with the multiplication law. So this applies when you have a variable to a power for instance a to the b and you're multiplying this by a, the same variable to a different power for instance a to the c. This is going to be equal to a to the power b plus c. So when you have the same variable with different powers multiplied together, you add the powers. So this is the multiplication law. It also applies when you have uh, negative powers. So for instance, if we have m to the power x times m to the power minus y, this is going to be equal to m to the x minus y. And it also applies when we have fractional powers. So for instance, if we have x to the power one third, and we're multiplying this by x to the power 1 6, so that should be an x there. Uh, this is going to be equal to x to the 1 third plus 1 6, which is equal to x to the 3, th 3 over 6, or x to the half for short. Moving on then, let's have a look at the division law. So this applies when we have a division rather than a multiplication uh, with the same variable. So if we have a to the power b, and we're dividing by a to the power c, this is going to be equal to a to the power b minus c. So whereas in multiplication we added the powers, in division we subtract the powers. Uh, so this applies to all numbers, whether it is positive or negative. So we could, for instance, have m to the power x, and we could be dividing by m to the power minus y. This is going to be equal to m to the power x minus, that would be minus y. Uh, which is going to be equal to m to the power x plus y. So there's a lot of different combinations here, a lot to think about, uh, but this is the division law. So moving on, let's have a look at the multiple powers law now. So this is where we have a to the b to the power c. So this is going to be equal to a to the power b times c. So let's use an example. Uh, let's have x cubed all squared. This is going to be equal to x to the 3 times 2 uh, which is equal to x to the power 6 now we can this is with the multiple powers let's call it multiple p or mp for short uh, and then let's prove this using the uh, multiplication law which we saw in the first part so x cubed squared is equal to x cubed times x cubed so that's equal to x to the 3 plus 3 which is equal to x to the 6. So the multiple powers law is essentially just an extension of the multiplication law, uh, but you get the same answer either way. So that was with the multiplication law. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to practice some exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked, so you can keep track of where you're going wrong and where you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.